Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com and today we're going to talk about holder honors is what, you know, people that cling to you and don't want to let go even though you're like, dude, I don't want nothing to do with you, leave me the fuck alone. All right, here's the deal. These are lower vibrational beings. These are people with lower energy. Now there's nothing, it's it's not, don't sit there and go, oh yeah, they're, they're, it's not a judgmental thing. I think of it as, as a kid that's in first grade. Well, they're learning basic math doesn't mean there's something wrong with him. It just means that's just where they're at, okay? That's the way I look at people. We're all on different levels. Like, my mechanic is way better at, me at working on cars than I am. I'm in kindergarten when it comes to working on cars. Maybe first grade. Okay, maybe first grade. I don't know. But the point being is, like, you get people who want to come into your life, and a lot of these people are narcissists, okay? But not always. Just negative energy beings, I guess, call them. And they, they want... It's like, okay, here's what it is. Got it. Easy, simple. Got it. All right. So my life, I, I won a, a, a state championships, national titles, rankings, you know, et cetera, in different sports. I went through a couple of years where I had straight A's. I did really well in art, really well in music. And so I did, you know, it's just like I would always just boom, 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 boom. That's what my life was. And I remember when I won a fight for the number one ranking in the United States kickboxing. My sister, my younger sister, had said to me, goes, God, how do you do it? I'm like, how do I do what? It was like the next morning, I think. And she goes, everything you do, you're always the best. I'm like, well, I remember I work really, really hard for it. And she goes, oh, I know, but but how do you do it? I'm like, well, I get up at 4 in the morning and 4.30 in the morning, and I do my stretching, and I do my calisthenics, and, you know, my, I'll, I break a sweat within within the first hour. I'm just, I'll do two, three hundred push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, just super fast, running in place, and then I'll stretch, and, and then I'll run seven miles. And she's like, oh, yeah, I wish I could do that. I'm like, well, you can. And, you, you know, it's up to you to get up at 4 in the morning, even 5 in the morning. Oh, well, you know, but I don't want to do that. I go, well, that's that's just it. You, you really don't want to do that. She goes, no, no, I really do. I'm like, how many years have I gone to boxing practice, wrestling practice, kickboxing practice? I go, you could, I've invited you literally hundreds of times, and you, you always say, no, I just want to watch the TV show. I go, that's the difference between you and me. You want to watch the TV show, and I want to go run. I want to do my push-ups. I want to go to practice. I want to train. And that's the difference. You could do it if you wanted it. And that really is the secret. Is You shouldn't be doing something that you don't really want naturally. Like your heart and soul. Like this is what I really want to do. Because if you really want to do it, that desire will overcome anything. All right. So here's my point. She wasn't willing. Or it's not just her. It could be anybody. They're not really willing to do what it takes to get what they want out of life. Well, that's too bad. That's that's them. But here's the thing, though. They still want the title. They still want the championship belt. They still want the ranking without doing the work. They don't even want to compete. They just want, here you go. There's, there's, your, there's your trophy for nothing. And that's a narcissist. Narcissists want to be admired. They want to be loved. They want to be treated special without actually being special, all right? And it's really simple. Someone, probably a mother or father or both, maybe if, maybe even brothers and sisters, when they were young, they were spoiled. They were just treated special and they just thought, well, this is the way it is, I'm special and people should treat me special. It's like, but you're not a national champion. If you stepped in the ring, you'd get your fucking head took off. They would knock you the fuck out. Like you can't do it. You don't have that skill, right? So here's the point. All right. Let's say you have been working on your energy, working on your happiness, working on healing, going to therapy, going to energy healers, doing acupuncture, meditation, deep breathing techniques, and you literally try to eat right and you do all these things to raise your vibration. Well, these people don't want to do those things. They don't want to meditate. They just want to get on their Twitter and, and their Instagrams and, you know, their dating sites. And, and that's all they, they don't, they did. It's like, that's, that's the same thing as my sister. If you want to raise your vibration, there are things you have to do, period. Otherwise, you're going to be like my sister or anyone. I don't want to pick ours. That's not the point. That says, well, I want that too. Well, then work for it. 
do the things that are necessary to get you to that place. Nah, I'd just rather be on my little cell phone talking to people on Twitter, Instagramming, or being on all these random dating sites and blah, 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 blah. It's like, life's a choice. You have your own free will. So if you want to feel good, you have to take steps to do that. Stretching, deep breathing, meditation, consciousness work, healing work, and on and on and on. And so here's my overall point of this. Here's what, here's my point. This I'm going to end it with this. When you have developed yourself and you have a, a higher vibration, a higher level of energy, those people down there, they just want to cling to it and suck off your energy. It's like they want a free ride while you do all the work. And then they want to take it from you. Here's the deal. If it seems repulsive, if you feel tired and exhausted or miserable when you're around those people, that's telling you. Those people are repulsing you. My point isn't like, oh, they're beneath me, egotistical. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, and I've got it in my notes here, until you push them away, they won't improve. Unless or until you push them away. Until they get to the point like, man, I have to do this. Like, yeah, you have to do. Here's the thing, though. You can't do it for them. You can't. They have to. Even my clients, sure, energetically, I can do a lot of healing work for them. I can send energy into them. I can heal and clear energy, like, you know, sweeping like we do in pranic healing. There's a lot of things that I can do. And I still will tell them, you need to be internal. Here's how you do it. I will give te people techniques and I will energetically work with their energy to where they ground like wow this feels great so they understand like oh so that's where i'm going like yeah that's that's the point like doesn't it feel good like god this feels wonderful i like, go so do your grounding techniques do your breathing techniques and all and all these techniques i teach them and invariably you get these clients that just want to come back a week later or whatever and they just want you to, to fix them oh i'll if, if that's what you want keep paying me and i'll keep energetically helping you to ground the point is though is that eventually you can do it on your own. Otherwise, well, what's the whole point? So I guess as long as there's an e equal exchange of money, fine. And you will get something out. You will become more grounded. In fact, one of the key things about being grounded is the more grounded you become, the easier it is to get there. All right? It's like yoga and stretching. Like in the first couple of weeks, like, ah, oh, I'm tight. now, oh, it hurts. Ow, ow, ow. And, you, and the next day you're burning. Your muscles kind of burn. And, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes to get to that state of, wow, I feel really good. All right? Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. M-I-K-E-K-O-L-L-I-N.com. Please, for your own energy and also for their sake, if lower energy vibrational people are clinging to you, trying, literally trying to bring you down, um, trying to steal your energy, energy vampires suck the energy from you, cut them out of your life because until enough people do that to them, they're never, ever going to even try to open up to source energy and allow it to come into their body. You could teach them, I, I know because I've actually had, a few, every now and then I'll get one or two people a year who they don't want to do the exercises. And I've had people, oh, I'm not in the mood or I don't want to. I'm like, so you feel like crap. They're like, uh-huh. If you do these exercises, you won't feel like crap anymore. It's a choice, people. And that's the overall point of this video. The real purpose of the video, when you raise your vibration, allow yourself to be around other people who've also raised their vibration so no one's stealing energy from anyone. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. If you want to learn how to do this, if you want me to do some energy healing on you, go ahead and contact me and we'll, we'll set up some sessions. See you guys in the next video. Bye.